See that? Haha, <laughs> that is so cool. Ah, <sighs> this fan feels so good. If only they could attach it to a mouse. Oh well, would you look at that. Hello and welcome to another Nihongo Gamer video. I hope you're excited because this is the company that is going to solve the biggest problem with the gaming mouse. Not enough lighting and not enough cooling. I don't really ever use a gaming mouse. The only mouse I ever use is this one. It's got two buttons and a little twiddly wheel. This will be the first time I've had a gaming mouse, but this is no ordinary mouse apparently. Let's get it out the box. Apparently it lights up and it has a fan on the inside. I don't know if that's been a problem for a long time, but apparently it is. And so they've solved the issue by putting a fan inside the mouse. Now there's two colors. They actually have a black one and a white one, but I thought the colors might show up better if I used the white one. So I've gone for the white and we're gonna plug it in and let's see if it lights up immediately. It's a really nice braided cable. Is this quite normal for gaming mice? So let's plug it into the computer. Okay, oh -ho! now come on, you've got to admit that is pretty cool. It's got lighting on the inside. It's got lighting on the wheel. You can see the lighting through the body of the mouse because it's got holes all the way through it. And it's also got this super slick line of RGB going all the way around the base. Check out the fan on the inside. I barely feel the air on it. Oh, but actually, now you do feel it, but it's very, very gentle. Whoa, look at it chase from one side to the other. Come on, that is pretty darn cool. All right, so I've installed the Zephyr Pro software, which allows you to customize this mouse. And wow, is there a lot of stuff that you can apparently customize in here. So you can actually change the functions of the left click, right click, the forward, backward. Even though it's quite slow, it looks quite slow, you definitely feel a very soft, gentle breeze coming off the coming off the mouse and that's really nice I, I don't think it's necessary i've never been in a situation where i was just like wow you know what my mouse is really sweaty but that's because i don't play a lot of first person shooter games or games where my palms would actually be getting sweaty while playing so actually this is the first time i've had a you know had a mouse that is one this light and two this aerated. I don't know. I, I, it's, I think it's going to be difficult to go back to a mouse that doesn't have a fan in it after after trying this. This is really, really nice. You can change the performance. You've got the polling rate. You can change the DPI. Over here, you've got the moving mouse speed. You can change that. You can change the mouse scroll speed. I'm actually going to use a different mouse so that you can see the mouse flickering over here. The mouse scroll speed, the double click speed, the lift off distance. If you take this black cardboard away, it still looks really freaking great. <laughs> I was, I mean, I only put it here just because it shows really nice contrast when you've got a black surface under this mouse. Look at this slightly reflective matte surface on this cardboard that they give you that really shows off the light. Because what you're looking at here isn't the LED itself. You're looking at the reflection of the RGBs on the base. When you look at it sideways, there you go. That's the actual RGB LED lighting over here. But when you actually look at it from above, all you see is the reflection. So it's aiming straight down. So if you have a black sort of matte reflective surface for a mouse pad, then that looks absolutely super cool. But again, if you just have a, a basic cheap wooden table like I do, I think it still looks actually pretty darn awesome. And look how bright it, like this is not a trick of the camera setting being like extra bright. It is actually just really freaking bright and I'm just, I'm just really impressed. I'm quite surprised. I thought, okay, it's gonna have RGB on the base of this mouse, but it's maybe not actually gonna be that bright. But it turns out it's so bright, it super pings off the, the surface of the desk. It looks like you could just change these profiles here. So I've got profile number one. So for example, if I set the mouse move speed to nine, apply. Whoa, it's really, really fast. And then I go to file number two, speed level six, and I'm back to normal mouse speed. Okay, for each profile file, you've got five different settings. So I'm just gonna stick it back on six because that is a more reasonable speed. So you've got the lighting settings for the mouse. You've got off, so that switches off all the lighting. Color change the tail. Slowly fading on. That's a little more subtle. New, so this is the rainbow colors going all the way around. So it's like super rainbow happy. Neon. This is the whole color will phase on and then switch to all the other colors of the rainbow. 
I can sing a rainbow. Colorful time. This looks very s similar to what we just had, but it's kind of like this weird slug, which kind of like phases a bit. It goes around in chunks. It kind of goes bloop, bloop, bloop. <laughs> Not sure how I feel about that. Breathe, I assume. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What has this got to do with breathing? Um, you can have it on a fixed color or you can loop through colors. <laughs> that, is, that is so unnecessary, but also really brilliant. A little bit slower. Okay, okay this, this is more reasonable. So have it phase on these different colors. Okay, that's more menacing. Okay, now that I've changed the pulsation to a more reasonable speed, that is much more menacing. What's the name of that robot that has a brain? How? Continuous light. Uh, okay, so this is just the light is on. You can also change the intensity. So let's have it down to medium. So much, much lower or have it completely down below. So it's practically off there. So if you just want to have a slight faint glow of red around your mouth, you can have it there. I do think the lights look kind of, they, they reflect off like the inside of the body of the mouse really nicely with the white. But I can see where the color would be even more obvious if you had a, a black colored mouse. Finger movement, click the mouse. Oh, oh, that's nice. Okay, so this reacts to clicks. So if you click on here, you get a yellow, purple, I mean pink, blue. And if you hold it down, you only get it for the actuation. You don't get a light for the release. Same thing with the left. Oh, that's interesting. It emerges from the right click and then goes around. And then if you click on the left side, it emerges and goes that way around. So I'll just put it like this so you can see. Right click, it phases like from here and then goes around. On the left click, see that? Haha, <laughs> that is so cool. It says Mars back on the fan there. You press it once to turn it on. And then if you want to turn it off, hold down the button. There you go. What I can't quite tell from just looking at the mouse right now is whether the light underneath the fan is independent to the light at the base of this ring here. It looks like a separate LED underneath the fan, but it doesn't seem to be independent from the color that's showing here at the base of the mouse. Maybe this will be a feature in a, in a future version of this mouse. I think it would be quite cool if you could have like a single solid red color here in the middle and then have only the outer colors changing like whatever the color of the this line around the base of the mouse that is the color that this becomes here all right i was a little bit confused but i understand now so this button here is set to dpi cycle and you can you can change this to whatever you want but it just so happens that when you change the dpi cycle the mouse tells you which setting you're on so if you're on 1200 dpi you'll see that it's nice and blue like this or if you're on the 1600 dpi setting you're on a light blue you can basically set it to whatever you want change this setting to 1200 click apply and then when you're on the red setting you will have a dpi of 1200 and that's how you set the setting of the color here independently while i'm just moving the mouse around and just and enjoying whatever game I'm, I'm playing like you do have a very significant amount of rgb lighting you know down from the mouse bouncing directly off your table and into your eyes. I think it looks really cool. And definitely if you're a streamer and you actually show your hands because you want to show cool techniques that you're doing and whatever, shooting games or action or real-time strategy games, whatever it is, I think it really is nice to have a hand camera. I know, I, I mean, I have a hand camera when I play fighting games. Not because I want to show anything complex, but usually because this channel is focused on arcade sticks and getting new arcade sticks and trying them. It seems kind of a shame to like go into the stream, show people the new arcade stick, but they don't see it because it's all just the video game itself. So if you have a hand cam, and you want people to see your really cool mouse. This is definitely up there. If you're comparing it to another mouse that you can get for $60, this has the ability to hook up to three different computers. So if you have, if you own three different computers or a laptop and a computer setup and you're often switching between the two and you don't want to have to pick up a completely separate mouse, this is really convenient, but essentially it only has two, three, four, five buttons and a wheel. And then this one, is like the same price, but it doesn't connect to multiple computers. You just have to pull the cable out and plug it into a different computer. So that is one thing, but for that, for that same price, you get a significantly cooler looking mouse. And it does have plenty of features and buttons. You've got one, two, three, four, five, six buttons, and then also the wheel up and wheel down. And then as you can see in this software, you've got the ability to set up macros. You can change all of these lighting features. You can, you can, you know, really customize 
if on the fly, I don't know when you would ever want to do this, but you could be like switch very quickly between DPI setting one and two. You could be like, I only need 400 DPI now, and then switch suddenly very quickly to 16,000 DPI. Who knows? Maybe that's useful when you're doing very precise work on like 3D design or something, who knows? Like if you wanna change this to not be left click, you can go in here and change it between any of these functions. You got left click, right click, middle click, forward, backwards, scroll up. You can change the DPI setting you're using or the profile that you're on, or I don't know what even report cycle is. Listen, that's pretty much all I have to say about the Marsback Zephyr Pro gaming mouse. Um, it works just like a mouse. You move it around like a normal mouse and you still get the point of moving around. But in addition, it's got all of this super cool coloring and the fact that it's got the fan on it. I, I'm really, really impressed that you don't really notice the fan. It's, it's very, very gentle and it does work. It's not something I ever would have thought to myself, I really want that. But now that I've seen it, I'm kind of like, well, $60, I could buy myself another kind of boring mouse, which honestly, it connects to three different Bluetooth devices, but in the end, I still just use it with one. I actually, it just, it's just easier to have two mice. It's just like one mouse for that laptop, one another mouse for that laptop. So it's like, that was actually a failed attempt at me trying to get technology to work for me. In the end, all I really needed was just to spend the same amount of money, but on a mouse that was significantly cooler. And if I were playing more FF14 online or something. If I were actually showing my mouse just for the fun of having all of the controls, you know, it's just, you know, when you've got a stream, you've just got to come up with all the different ways that you can make it fun and interesting because everyone is streaming these days. It's just like, well, how about I show more of my control center, more of my peripherals, more of my, like they've even got eye tracking, you know, people who've got eye trackers that show which part of the screen that they were looking at when they were doing certain things. Now, the thing is when you're streaming, people aren't going to really see the fan or notice the fan very much because your hand is going to be on it. But on, you know, it, the fan is kind of for you. The fan feature, that's for you to experience just a cooler, less sweaty hand when you're playing. And I don't think I've ever experienced sweaty hands, but, or maybe I have experienced it and I just never really noticed it before. And then in addition, it does look really cool. And even if you aren't a streamer, just having a mouse that looks like this on your desk, maybe your friends all often come over to your dorm room and they, you know, you want your setup to look cool and they go, yo, so-and-so's always got that really cool setup on his computer. He's got his laptop in place and he's got his gaming mouse and his RGB. Honestly, I think if I actually had friends, <laughs> so sad, isn't it? If I had friends that came over frequently to my room, I would definitely want to have cool stuff like this, you know, sitting around and just, you know, it's a party piece and people come over to your room and often, especially when you're at university, you've just got like three or four random mates just come over to your room and just like, well, what are you up to? Uh, not much. You want to watch some TV? Okay. And you just got cool stuff just sitting around on your desk and it, it becomes a talking point and you've got this conversation stuff to talk about. This is definitely... It's definitely up there. I'm I'm 100% on board with RGB. Just for reference, before I got this controller, it's the Snackbox Micro. It's completely separate to this mouse that we're looking at today. Before I got this controller, I had no interest in RGB. I was just like, lights. The more lights I have on things, just the le the more flash it looks and the more pressure I feel like I'm supposed to actually be good at this game and I'm, I'm really not. But then once I got it on this controller, I was just like, wow, I want RGB in everything. If you'd like to see more unboxing and testing videos, make sure you're subscribed to the channel. Do leave a comment below if you'd like to let me know whether you've got a mouse like this or you've got other suggestions of mice that have cool RGB lighting or wacky features like having a fan in it. I'm so impressed that the fan in this actually works. I was I thought it was such a gimmick. I was like, who needs a fan in the mouse? I'm like, now that I've got one, I think it's gonna be hard to live without. And like the video if you enjoyed it. That's all for now. I will see you in the next Nihongo Gamer video.